M0FXB, welcome to my channel, President Lincoln 2 Plus. Just going through the, the menu selections here. Now they're new to me, but I'm still gonna go through them. So there is a timeout, so if it does timeout, don't worry, we can go back into the into the menu. So you hold down menu here, the this button here. You start on start off with the Roger beep frequency. You can change that so it sounds different. You're going up and down with the channel knob here. So number the next selection is the Roger beep time. Then you go up the next selection, which I'll call it number three, is the CW frequency. So you can set that if you're into CW. Next one you have is the core frequency. Set that as well. Then you've got the monitor gain volume. After that, which is number five, you've got your timeout timer, which is number six. Number seven is your SWR protection, which is on. It's pretty good. And then go up one, you can set that. Mine's set at 2.00. So is that number, let me think now, it's number eight. Hold it again. Number eight. Then number nine, we're looking at voltage protection. So that's quite handy, you can protect that. You don't want to overload your radio. Number 10 is your voltage protection higher end. You can set that as well. Number 11 is voltage protection lower end. So let's go. I'm not sure why they haven't numbered the, the menus, you know, on the, on the actual radio, because I think that would be quite a handy, handy thing to have. Hold that again. And the timeout, you, need to, you should be able to adjust that really, shouldn't you? Let's go up one. Then we'll go to scan type here means scanning stops when channel is busy etc you can sort of select that and you've got the backlight color which is a real favorite isn't it green oh it looks good i think i i prefer green let's leave it a green for a while blue it doesn't show up very good on camera but in it, here in front of the radio it's very very cool literally very cool and then then you've got brightness as well it's an obvious one Number 15, you can actually set, change the key settings. Um, you can choose between channel and frequency. Uh, then we're looking at 16, which is dual watch. You can set dual watch, so you, you can program in your favorite channel and it'll flick to that every now and again and see who's there. And a similar function is your priority watch as well. Let's go back in. Let's check where we are. So priority watch is number 17 and saying number 18 as well. Then you've got after that CTCSS, which is number 19. If you're going to use like a repeater or something, I have to find one. I got told there was one in New York, <laughs> a bit far away, but you never know. And then go up one and you've got a full reset there. And I think if you reset it and you haven't, and you've modified it for CB, you still have to go back in and do that process where you hold down the menu. I'm pretty sure. And you're looking for the one that starts CB. I think, is that the one there? And then you put in the number. So you push channel one. I'm not going to do all of it, but I'll just show you part of it. One, then two, then three, four, five, push this and it will make the, the CB sort of side, it 11 meter come to life. Um, so that's that, that's your time out again. So yeah, I mean, this is what we love. What I like about this radio is it's just very appealing to the eye, even if there's not much activity today, just looking at it is nice. You've got split mode, you go through your different bands. So band A, is the one it uses for CB UK. So I'll go around in circles now. Okay, turn down the squelch.
I need to get a better antenna to be honest. I'm using my wire at the moment. Really, to properly scroll through the channels, you use the up and down. And there is a scan. I've not used scan. I'm not really sure how that would work. I've turned it on. Well, um, oh, it's because the squelch is up. So turn the squelch to auto, and I'm guessing it will start to scan now. There it goes. So if something breaks the squelch, you're going to hear it. If you don't want to use auto squelch, just turn it up. As soon as it hears squelch, it will stop scanning. Turn the squelch where you want it. Scan is still lit. And it will keep scanning. Got a noise blanker as well. It shows up here. Echo if you want an echoey voice. Roger beep. Emergency, if we stop scan, at the moment it's set to 19 and 9, and you can re you can actually change those presets, I think. SWR, meter, and if I key, let's just um, get the power to nothing, so nothing comes out really. If I key, it will show SWR here. I think I've still got my dummy loading. It's 0.10, there you go. Or you can just press indicator here. Yeah. It's the same thing. It's like keying, it's just a brief key. It shows you your SWR. Your mode, LSB, PA, FM, USB. I should plug something, plug a speaker into the PA, shouldn't I have a listen to what that sounds like? It's nice to have, I know it's a CB type thing, but hey, playing CB is fun, you know? As long as you stay legal, keep legal, that's the main thing. Then you've got band, we did that. Vox, if you want to use basically, you know, hands free. We press Vox. Now, I'm sure you can probably set that, but we press Vox and talk. It all, look, it's keying. M0FXB, M0FXB. See that Vox is keying there, so undo that. Handy if you, you know, if, if you need that. Memory, just hold down memory. Let's say we want to store that in our memory, just hold it down. Choose the channel with the big knob, hold it again. It's in the memory, and when you're in memory mode, you see the N. When you're in normal mode, you see the full channel. And don't forget, if you want to tune in between the channels, so we've got the channels here as we go up and down. But if you want to fine tune in between that, push the VFO knob here. Watch the cursor underneath the frequency move, so you can fine tune. That's really good. And then you've got the clarifier, of course. There, I'm not seeing any indicators on the screen on that. Not sure if, there's a, if we have to activate it. There's no push. RF gain, keep it all the way around. But mic gain, yeah. Adjust that. And there is something showing up for the mic gain. Adjust that as well, how you like it. Auto squelch. Turn it all the way back. That's auto squelch. Otherwise, go upwards and then you've, you've got your squelch. RF power, that's the important one. RF power here in the middle. And that's it. Thanks for watching my channel. Bye for now. All the best.